beep 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 Hello! Hi YouTube! How's it going? What's up? Hi! Hello! I think my my setup is a little bit better uh this time than it was last time. I can see chat better. Uh I don't know. There's is lots of QOL updates, but a lot of stuff is the same. <laughs> But anyways, hello, welcome! If you're new here, hi! My name is KK. I'm a cybernetic AI angel and you're a Dempa Dust Hub Bunny! I usually stream on Twitch, but I've been wanting to reach out to YouTube more and stream more here. So that's what we're doing today! Uh, let me fix this rug under my feet real quick. <laughs> anyways. Uh, yeah, so hello, welcome! Today, we're gonna be cooking. We're doing a cooking stream. Uh, if I'm like dropping frames or anything, just let me know, by the way. I think it should be fine though. It looks like I might be dropping a few from my model, but I don't know, it's fine. My model is not the reason we're here today. The reason we're here today is because... No, don't look at us. I'm perceiving you whether you want me to or not. Anyways, before we, uh, before I show you coo -coo -coo -coo, what we're gonna be working on or what we're doing today, I just wanna say hello to everyone in chat! So, first off, first off, we've got, we see, Fuzzy, hello, homo, hi! Pie, hi, Beth, hi! Cheese Wolf, hello! Shinoi Maho, hello! Pitor, hello! Tonkit, hello! Persica, hello! Mother, hi! Rum, hi! How's it going? How's it going? Hi, 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 hi! Chuckle, hello! Salai! Sal, hi! Salai, Sally, Sally, Sally! <laughs> hi, hi! How's the volume and everything, by the way? Everything sound good? Everything sound great? I hope so. I hope it sounds good. Hope it sounds great. Let me drink some water real quick. Mmm. It should be on ultra low latency for chat, by the way. So, fingers crossed. Fingies crossed that it is ultra low latency. Little echoey, oh yeah, it's just because it's the kitchen. <laughs> it's the kitchen. I'm in, I'm in my kitchen right now. What she, let her cook, let her cook. Let's go over here. Ta da Wow! Wowie wowie! Look at these ingredients. I'm only four blocks from home. Don't start yet. It's okay. KK Cyber. Stop, stop, stop talking about my veins. We already got enough of that from coffee can. <laughs> mushroom. Ew. You don't want the mushroom? Mmm, yummy. Oops. Yeah, so, so, uh, if you didn't see it, I did post it on Twitter. I don't have it available on OBS right here, but, uh, oh, oh, oops, I forgot. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I forgot, uh, my, my, my phone real quick. Hold on. It's where my recipe is. <laughs> you can still hear me though, I bet. I bet. I bet. Also, we were gonna, um, wait, where did I put it? <laughs> I said it somewhere. She set it down. Oh, I found it. Crisis averted. <laughs> Can you still hear me when I walk to other rooms? I'm curious. You should be able to because like the phone, uh, I mean, my microphone's attached to me. It's attached to me. Um, anyways, so if you missed it, here, I show, I show, I show, I show. I'm showing you my secret, my secret Twitter. Just kidding, it's my main Twitter. Oh, my nose is a little runny today, so sorry if you hear me sniffling. Sniffling. Strider Nicholas, hello, welcome. Nano, hi, can you just the best dang dish ever? Okay, I will. It'll be yummy whether you want it to be or not. <laughs> whether you think mushrooms are yummy, yummy or not, you know, you know? So anyways, uh, I'm gonna pull up the recipe and we can get started, okay? So today's recipe is mushroom doria. What the heck is a doria? What 
the heck is a Doria, they may be asking. You, you yourself may be asking. Doria is like, uh, it's like mushroom, ca it's like, sorry, it's like rice casserole. It's like a rice casserole. So basically, we're gonna get a rice pan. Doria, the MTV show, no. <laughs> no, it's Daria, silly. What is Doria? Although it sounds Western, Doria is a uniquely Japanese dish that was created by a Swiss chef in Japan in the 1930s. Traditionally, it was made by layering rice with seafood, then covering it with a blanket of creamy bechamel sauce. This was then topped with a layer of cheese that was melted and browned in a hot oven. It's cheap, comforting, and satisfying, which has made it a staple of home cooking. Ironically, Doria is considered a Western style dish in Japan. So most Japanese people are surprised when they learn it doesn't exist in other culinary repertoire of other countries. So things like curry is technically like Western style. Omu rice, which we made last time, is also Western style. But this is a meal, this is like a thing that like not really Western cuisines do. Uh, I mean, we make casseroles, right? Like Western, Western cultures will make casseroles, but uh, but to actually like make a rice casserole, I haven't seen it otherwise. But if you tell me, if you like have made rice casserole before or seen other casseroles or anything like this, um, that is rice based, then you should let me know because I'm curious, I'm curious. I've never seen any other, any other meal like this. I have meal, made this meal before, but uh, that's also why we're making it today. It's like the perfect thing to have during, during fall slash winter, I would think. I feel like the auto, like the lighting got messed up a little bit. Is it, does it look the same to you? I don't know. Maybe the white balance got messed up. No, I think it's fine. I think I'm overthinking it. <laughs> I've never had rice based one before. Yeah, so it's basically like a gratin, like a, like if you ever have an au gratin, which is like you, you use a cream sauce and then you put cheese top, cheese on top and you put it in the oven, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really even had a regular casserole. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I grew up in the Midwest. <laughs> uh, I grew up in the Midwest and my mom and my grandma made a lot of casseroles. <laughs> so I've had a lot of casseroles in my time, but this is, this is a good one. I like this one, I like this one. Did you cook your rice already? I did, so that is one thing. We needed cooked rice. So if you are following along, make sure either your rice is cooked or start it like right now. Start it right now, or you're gonna be running behind. Okay, okay, okay. So let me pull up my recipe again real quick. Uh, um, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do, uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our casserole dish, then we're gonna prepare our ingredients um, and cook them, because we do have to cook some of them. We have to cook the mushrooms and the onions before as well as cook the bechamel sauce uh, and prepare that and then we'll mix it all together and then we'll put uh, in the casserole dish, we'll put the rice and then we'll put the toppings with all the sauce and everything and then we'll put cheese on top, okay? Okay, and then we'll put it in the oven. But the first thing I'm gonna do actually is preheat my oven just so it's nice and ready to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't have a casserole dish? Oh no, do you have any kind of like baking pan? Anything that you could bake something in. Like, it could be even the cake pan. It could be anything, you know? Anything like that. Can I have one of those shrooms? Do you like raw mushrooms? So this is the thing, is I really like mushrooms, but I don't like them raw. Like, I like them cooked. I'm not a big, I'm not big on like uncooked mushrooms. Raw shrooms, you know? So anyways, yeah, yeah, I'll throw a cedar in here too while it preheats. And then once they start screaming, I know that'll be at 500, right? That's, that's the timer to know that it's fully preheated, right? <laughs> Anyways, let me go ahead and start this. Uh, oh, I meant to play different music. Actually, before I forget, let me, uh, I'm gonna play something a little bit more chill for us uh, while we cook and a little less repetitive. <laughs> so let me know, is the volume okay? Let me know if the volume's okay. If you increase the heat gradually enough, the cedar won't even notice and will be cooked alive. Perfect! Perfect! Wait, what's this? Oh, never mind, that's not. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Don't put me in an oven! No! I'm not cold food! No! You can't oh, eat the food! Uh, 
Why do they call it of in when you of out hot eat the food? Sounds fine to me. Okay, good. Anyways, so let me turn my oven on. Oh, I have to unlock it. So you guys want to know, I, uh, thankfully my oven has a lock, but the controls are like on the top. Um, because one night I woke up and I was like, why, why does it smell like my apartment's on fire? Why does it smell like there's burning? What's happening? And I run out and Taro and or Finn or someone, some kind of creature, this was before I got Mocha, but some kind of creature was walking across the oven and set it to cleaning mode. Somehow, I don't even know. You have to have, you have to like hold some button for a certain amount of time to even set it or something. I don't even know, but <sighs> I was like, okay, we're gonna, thankfully though, like I said, there's a lock function. So I have to lock and unlock my stove. <laughs> That's not, my cats are gonna burn the house down. Ah! Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. And like getting it out of cleaning mode, I had to, it was like five in the morning or something. So I had to get the manual out to figure out how to stop cleaning mode because cleaning mode lasts for a really long time. KK, I don't have any ingredients, but salt and butter, is that okay? Oh, yummy. Yeah, I'm sure you can make such a delicious meal with salt and butter. Mm -hmm. Also, hi, Nugget Hill. Wow, check out this guy. She's streaming, she sure is. Uh, okay, oven is preheated. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my casserole dish and then we're gonna pre-butter the casserole dish. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I have to remember where I put it though. <laughs> is it here? Oh, okay, here it is. Hold on. You're gonna hear noises of me getting things out of my cup boards. Cup boards. I have a cute Tenchi Blue casserole dish. You'll see it. Okay, I think I'm gonna need this cup in a bit anyway, so we'll keep that out. I'm not gonna, mm, no, I will need this strainer though, so I will keep that out. I need it for the greens beans. The greens beans. I didn't get like everything out of my kitchen like I did last time. But I figured that it's fine because I'll be able to just walk around and get things out as I need. Somehow I knew it was gonna be blue. You did? Yeah, look, it's cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> Welcome home! This is the most Midwestern Japanese recipe I've ever seen, right? <laughs> but that's why I like it. It's like, it's really comfort, comforting food. It's, it's really comforting comfort food, right? So. Uh, anyways, for the casserole itself, we're going to butter this pan. And by that, I mean we get about a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna spread it out and make sure that there's like an even coat. And no, it was a teaspoon, sorry, not a tablespoon. A teaspoon of butter. Uh, and put an even coat all around the casserole pan so that when we cook it, not only will the rice because the first layer we're gonna put down is the rice. Not only will the like, rice get nice and crispy, uh, it will get nice and crispy, but it'll also not be stuck to the casserole pan, <laughs> uh, which you don't want, right? You want it to be able to lift out. So, okay, let me get uh, a little knife to get some of the butter. And then I will, do I have gloves still? I don't think I have kitchen gloves still, maybe I do. I think I got rid of them when I moved. Nope, we sure don't. So guess what, gamers? We're gonna be using our hands. Mmm, butter hands. <laughs> Let me wash my hands first, hold on. Wash the hands first. We're gonna get butter all over. But if you have gloves, I guess I could like put plastic wrap around my hand or something. I guess I could do that. That might be smart but it feels like that's kind of a pain. And I could just use my hands. What do you think? Should we be clean or should we just, that, no, I'm not washing my toes. Back up. Back up. Mm. Sorry if I bumped the uh, microphone with my towel. Uh, anyways, make sure you grab your phone with butter hands. Wow, thanks. Um, fuck it, we ball. 
Let me just get the butter off camera because this is kind of reflective. <laughs> so I'm gonna get just about a tablespoon of butter. Blech. Slap it right there. I keep saying tablespoon, it's a teaspoon, it's a teaspoon. A tablespoon is more better than that. That's about, that's honestly probably about half a tablespoon. If you can eyeball it, you're pro. You're so pro. You're so pro. Anyways, yummy. Now we're just gonna rub it around with our hands. Mmm, that's content. <laughs> and you just wanna evenly coat the casseroles pan. Hands tuck. Yeah, if you're smart and you have kitchen gloves, like food prep gloves, like plastic ones, nitrile or whatever it's called, the, the plastic material. I didn't want to use like latex gloves. That sounds like a recipe to make my food taste like latex. <laughs> I don't think that's the tech. Do this for ASMR? I don't know, man. I don't know. What, butter ASMR? Squinch the, squinch? Squinching butter ASMR. So you do want to make sure you get it up uh, on the edge too. At least like an inch, I think. I don't know, it says in the recipe for sure though. I believe how much, but you just want to get a nice thin even coating like this. Hopefully you can see it a little bit. It's a little bit hard to pick up, but it's just butter. Coat it on the pan. And then we set this aside. Uh, let me wash my hands and then I will set it aside. Okay. You like food ASMR? I've never done it. It'd be interesting to do. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be down to try, but like, I feel like it would be... I'd really have to brainstorm. I would really, really, really have to brainstorm how to do it. Or like, what, what to do. Because you would want to see the food being prepped, right? You would want to see it, not just hear it. I would assume, I would think. One would think, right? Right? The sound of dishes clanking and pans frying is super satisfying. Yeah! Hello, Tupish! Hello, welcome! Okay, anyways, hands are clean now, so we're gonna set this aside. Our buttered dish. Okay, next step. So, oven's preheated. We're going to bring some water to boil because we have to blanch our beans. Who out here blanching the beans? We blanching the beans, Des. Get those beans blanched. We'll cut them after, by the way. So, uh, anyways. Uh, we're going to get a pot of water. We're gonna boil that. Uh, the colander or strainer is already ready. So let me go ahead and get a pot with water in it. Hold on, let me get a pot out. Did you guys know I keep my pots in a closet? <laughs> They're in a closet, because there wasn't really any other better place and I wanted to be able to hang them, but I didn't want them, I didn't want to like have to mount anything in my apartment. And the closet, the like quote unquote coat closet that most apartments when you have, it's like right at the front is in my kitchen. Like my, my front door is like this way, but the closet is over there, right? So. I just use it for pots and pans and like the cat food is in there and stuff. I think that's where I put my rice cooker when I'm not using it. Anyways, we'll start this gas burner. Bring this to a boil. Put it on high. I think it's on high. Looks like it's on high. So we'll just wait, bring this to a boil. Whoopee! But while we're doing that, while we're waiting for that to boil, we can prep some other stuff at least. Uh, because I need to prep the uh, uh, mushrooms anyways. So, because I need to cut them. We need to cut them and clean them. Water boiling stream, let's go! <laughs> yeah! This is the content! This is it! <laughs> I 
have my pots and pans in my pantry and cabinets. Yeah, it's basically, it's like not a pantry because there's no like shelves or anything. I put a shelf in there, like a standing shelf, but it's definitely supposed to be a coat closet. But it's really strange to me that they put it, um, they put it like in the kitchen, but I don't know. I guess that's just where the space was for it. I don't really know. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not the, I'm not the architecture. The architecture, I just said it as a joke. Architect, I'm not an architect. Architecture. <laughs> Architenji. So I showed this tech. I showed this tech last time when we made omurice. But if you have dirty mushrooms, clean them up. Oh, not to eat dirt. You just get a paper towel and just, just wipe them off. So we need what? How many? How many? How how many? How many? Let me see. How many? What is it? 120 grams of button mushrooms, also known as baby Bella, here in the United States. Did you know that uh, these mushrooms and portobello mushrooms are the same? They're just in different stages of growth. So these are just the babies, the babies. I thought spoilers eat dirt. You mean soilers? The soilers? Yeah, I got cremini for my mushrooms. Well, you are allowed to do cremini. I don't even think my store had cremini, but I got, uh, we have these mushrooms. And we also have shimeji mushrooms, which are some of my favorites. I'm not a big, I'm not big on shiitake mushrooms, but you could add those as well. But uh, I think cremini is just fine too. I mean, you're the one who's gonna eat it. As long as there's mushrooms and you have the, the right quantity, I think you can be, you can do whatever you gotta do, right? You can, you can be the, the, ch the chooser of your own loser. I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. I was trying to be Chef John from foodwishes.com. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm just wiping some of the dirt off. Look at that, it's gross. Yucky. Some of the dirt off these mushrooms. We need 120. Wait, but mushrooms are the same. I've been substituting with the actual thing this whole time. With the what? Button mushrooms are the same? Uh, I think so. Cause they look like buttons, right? They're button mushrooms. Cause they look like buttons. The water is boiling. Not yet. Not yet. It's not at a rolling boil yet. I've never seen a button like that. Oh, maybe you're just so used to zippers. Curious case of Benjamin button mushroom. <laughs> There's probably some kind of nuance, but this is just the mushrooms that I usually use. Maybe button mushrooms are different, but I'm just using these guys. Uh, as in using these to replace portobellos. Oh, uh, I don't know. Need more mushroom buttons in fashion. True. I like mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom. This is, this is, I, someone asked me, I think it was, uh, Top Hat Dino asked me and I forgot to reply because I, when we did the stream the other day on Twitch and played Suica game, someone asked me what I thought of pumpkin spice latte. And I have a lot of thoughts about pumpkin spice, like flavors of things in the being in season. And it's that, <sighs> I think there's more to fall than just pumpkin. I'm so tired of America. I don't know, maybe this, maybe other countries deal with this too, but at least in the States, like whenever it's fall season, everything is one flavor and that's pumpkin spice and i'm so tired of it because there's so much more to fall flavors than pumpkin spice it's just pumpkin until thanksgiving rolls around and then it's thanksgiving foods and i'm just like there's way more to fall than this Gah! Gah! anyways i think this should be mostly enough mushrooms i don't know we'll see but our water boy our water is boiling now anyways so So, I will now measure out. I will measure measure out. We need 
180 grams of greens beans. I like green beans. I think they're pretty good. I hate the canned ones though. Let me tell you, those suck. Don't eat them. They smell, they smell weird. They don't smell like green beans to me. Let me turn this down a little bit. The mushrooms tried to escape. They're, they, they're fearful. They're scared of me. All right, let me zero, zero this out. Ta tare, tar, tare. I keep forgetting what it's, how it's pronounced. Do, 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 do. Thinking about them greens, beans. I like green beans. Green bean haters be gone. Get out of here. We got a little bit left over, but I'll have them for a snack or something later. But here's our 180 grams of greens beans. Let me move my trash can so that it's facing me so that I can use it without having to get out of the way. Anyways, okay, so put this back to a boil. Put it back to a boil. And then we're going to blanch them. So, uh, I forgot to add salt to the water, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so once, when we put them in, it is going to uh, cool down very rapidly. And once it starts boiling, then we know that it's ready to pull them out. Put salt in there. Salt that water. Hello, Sam! Is that the only bean you like? I like uh, edamame. Those are beans, right? Soybeans. I'm a fan of natto, though. Okay. They in. They're in. Oh, I'm gonna get my strainer ready. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we're just gonna let them cook. And blanch. Blanching. Yep. So, just waiting for it to come back to a boil. Let them cook. Let them cook. Max! It Tenchi. It me. Atashi. They started selling Christmas stuff over here. I hate how they're always trying to erase my favorite season. What the? I just say, I don't know if that's better or worse than Pumpkin Spice Invasion. I was saying in Discord that I went to the grocery store to buy stuff for this and it, like one of the end caps had pumpkin spice muffin mix, pumpkin spice pancake mix, pumpkin spice popcorn, pumpkin spice energy bars, pumpkin spice protein powder, pumpkin, I was pumpkin spice coffee creamer, all of it just right there. And I was like, ah, there's gotta be more. Ah. Anyways, uh, so this is basically boiling again. So we're gonna pop them out and get them out of there. And then we're gonna run them under cold water to shock them. This is my favorite way to torture cedars. Boil them and then instantly cool them. <laughs> Under cold water. Very pleasant, they love it. It's almost like going to the onsen. You know? Turn this off for now. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going over here to the sink, running cold water over them to shock, shock the greens beans and cool them off so that they stop cooking. I keep calling them greens beans. I don't know who green is, but they, <laughs> but they're, they're beans. Okay. All good now. Nice, 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 nice. So, now, I'm going to put these mushrooms in here so that we can use the cutting board. Put 
put our beans out. We can get rid of this out of the way for the time being. Okay, so now we will prep our greens beans. Let me get a bowl too to put them in. This should be sufficient. This should work. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna get my knife. Don't don't play with knives though. Don't be don't be dangerous like me. I'm too much of a baddie, you know? I'm too bad. How bad she possibly be? So now that we got him, we're gonna trim the stems ends the stem ends off. Uh and then cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces. You do it all at once okay but don't be just, just you know follow follow your heart cut your beans how you want to cut them this is very comfy i'm happy i'm happy what's my goal with this is to either be comfy and if you don't like the recipe then you know you can at least enjoy the vibes or for you to make something tasty for yourself think good life needs good food and this is a, a recipe that i like so i wanted to share i wanted to share youtube hello bastard hello hello how bad she i just ate dinner i only cook out of dire necessity uh you should cook more often it's very expensive to eat out in the united states you know Too busy with your uber eats huh i guess you don't have a, a, a tenchi at home you're at home tenchi to make food for you why don't you tell maid to make you something huh she's supposed to be a maid right why isn't she cooking for you huh <laughs> what has she done for cooking i uh i boiled some beans and i buttered a dish Amazing. You missed so much. You missed so much. I started stealing her fake soups. <laughs> her smoothie bowls. Her smoothie bowls? Those? Anyways, we're gonna cut the beans into thirds. Roughly. More or less. They're not all the same size, so... this eh. easy nice cut thanks thanks blah blah you're telling me a tenchi buttered this dish yeah tenchi buttered dish with my own hands I'm surprised, maybe I missed it, but I'm surprised no one asked to lick the butter off <laughs> Maybe that's too much of a freak comment. <laughs> I was gonna, we're being normal. <laughs> oh, you, you're normal on YouTube, is that it? You're normal on YouTube. You, you behave yourselves on YouTube, is that it? Is, yeah, it's YouTube. Oh, okay, oh, I see. We're not that freakish, normally. Um, doubt, doubt, doubt. You already made a comment about my veins. <laughs> I respect women and also in a relationship. I can't say such vulgar things. <laughs> you're valid, you're valid. I don't know, maybe you wanted a snack. Maybe you just wanted a little butter snack. Anyways, here's our beans. Done, ready. So, dump out ugh, this water. And then we will continue on. We will continue on. 
me clean up the water I just spilled. Well, <laughs> okay. Anyways, so now that the beans are done, we are going to cook our mushrooms, but we have to finish cutting them first. So, me first. Uh, oh, my knife's right here. Let me first prep these mushrooms since we already got them kind of ready. Uh, I'm just gonna cut them up a little bit just so that they're a little bit bite sized and that they cook evenly. Yeah. No bean water soup, I guess. Pack it up, Mina. You wanted to, I thought you said you didn't like beans, but you like bean water soup. That sounds a little silly. I thought you didn't want the beans. I thought you said no beans for me, thanks. No beans for me, thanks. Which is it? Girls can be a little silly. Bean drinker. Bean drinker. This is like people like, uh, who, I don't know, maybe there's people out there who don't like to eat oranges, but they like orange juice, you know? I bet there's someone like that. I bet. There probably is. If I had to guess. Peer pressure. I don't like beans, but everyone else does, you know? <laughs> They're good for you! I like green beans. I'm like that. Yeah? I'm not a big fan of eating oranges either. I'm not a big fan of eating them. I like, uh, like, Mekon or, like, mandarins. Mandarins, but I don't... Not a big orange eater. I don't know. It's just, like, texturally a little bit different. Yeah, they're kind of, they're also a pain to eat, but orange juice with pulp can fuck up. <laughs> I don't, like, hate pulp, but I definitely am not, like, a huge fan of it, you know? Anyways, we're just gonna cut the mushrooms now. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna cut them, like, super small. Just kind of bite size. Just kind of bite size like this. Am I on camera enough? You guys can see, right? 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 Right, right, right. Uh, let me move the mouse over here. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna see how many mushrooms we have as I cut them to make sure I have enough. She chomping, chopping. I saw the mushrooms. Oh, okay. I see. I also, depending on uh, how I feel energy wise, once we put this in the oven, I contemplated making a very simple little dessert uh, that has what, like three, four ingredients? Something like that. Which is just butter mochi! I don't know. I just want something sweet. <laughs> atashi, atashi, yeah. But you can make it in your microwave, which is why I like making mochi at home sometimes. Cause it's pretty easy. It'd probably be better if you use like a mochi maker, but, and like pounded the rice yourself. But if I use mochi powder, I can just do it in the microwave and it's nice and easy that way. Super easy. Let's see, we need 120 grams of these. And we're at 90 right now. So, let's see. I think I might need one more mushroom. Nice eyeball though. Nice eyeball. I I all eyeballed it. <laughs> I don't know if I have any ingredients. I only have the breads, you see. Oh, oh. it's okay. You can have a treat. You can have a treat. I didn't really uh, post or share ingredients for butter mochi, but it is on the same website that this recipe's on in case anyone wanted to know. I can share it if we end up doing it. Um, it's a good recipe. It's a good recipe, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna do one more mushroom just cause I can. And we're a little under 120. A little butt hurt mochi. <laughs> Why did it hurt? Did you get smacked? Did 
something happen? Were you bad? Were you bad? Were you bad? Anyways, here's our mushrooms. So we're going to now prepare the rest of the mushrooms. Two types of mushrooms. This is mushroom Doria after all. The more munch, the better. Uh, anyway, so this is shimeji mushrooms. Uh, I, don't, I don't see them at like American grocery stores very often, but if you go to like an Asian grocery store like H Mart or Mitsua or any kind of local Asian grocer, I can guarantee you that these will be there. These are, they come in white and brown varieties. They're both basically the same. It just depends on your own preference. I just like brown ones because I think they're cute and they add a nice contrast. Um, but yeah, they just, they're just mushrooms, shimeji mushrooms. So they're not too expensive, I would say. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They grow like anoki mushrooms where they all get centered in one bottom or at the bottom. So we're just gonna cut, cut the bottom half off to prepare them so that they all kind of s fall apart. As you get closer to the center, you may have to cut more of it off. But anyways, I'm gonna zero this out and then we need 100 grams of these. Or you could just pull them apart too. You can also just pull them apart. 100 grams. 100 grams. Okay, we're at 80. Probably gonna end up just using all of them. We got enough, might as well. Might as well. Yep, we're just gonna use all of it. So I'll just pick out the rest of them and then I'll throw away the scraps. The scraps. Tis the season. A snack for later. Yeah. I got mine at H Mart today. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I've used them. Um, they're one of my favorite ones, I would say. I use them for, I like them in a uh, hot pot a lot. I don't, obviously, we're not doing it this month, but maybe if it's cold enough next month and I end up setting up my kotatsu, um, I thought about doing a kotatsu side hot pot stream where I just eat hot pot and we chat. Maybe that's a little evil because it's not like you can share the hot pot with me, right? <laughs> but I wanna do shabu shabu at the kotatsu and do a stream like that. I wanna do a kotatsu stream in general. I couldn't at my last place just because like I had to share the space with a lot of people. Um, but it is not the case. It is easier for me to use public spaces here for streaming, so. Yeah. I like cozy streams with KK. Yeah, shared cedar hot pot. But I love shimeji mushrooms for hot pot, especially. It's really yummy. So anyways, we have all our mushrooms. Now we're gonna cook them. We gotta pre-cook them. So we're going to put butter in this frying pan on medium heat and then saute it with the mushrooms and also the onion which I didn't cut yet, so we're gonna do that next. <laughs> I had half of an onion from, what did I make recently? I already forgot. I don't even remember what I used this for recently. I don't know, but I had half an onion in my fridge already. So uh, you need 100 grams of onion, I believe. Onions. So I'm just gonna peel it. And then we'll cut it up into little pieces. So we're gonna do the same tech we did with the with the omelet rice. If you didn't forget, or if you didn't remember, don't worry, I'll show you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut not all the way to the end, but we're gonna cut uh, lengthwise. in even cuts. And this is an easy way to mince an onion without making your eyes hurt as well as, uh, as less mess. So just try to make even cuts down the length, but not all the way to, to the, the butt. 
of the onion. Right? Now you have this cut, you want to take it very carefully and cut along the side. Cut, 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 cut. Just slide it through just a little bit. Not all the way through, just a little bit. I think you're supposed to go sideways first. I just realized, whoops. So do as I say, not as I do. Go sideways first. Okay, thanks. She didn't bite into the onion. No, I'm not a freak. I don't want to eat raw onion, unless it's like on a burger. But even then, I prefer like grilled onion on my burger than raw onion, personally. Personally. You didn't like an apple, bite onion. No. No. And then you just cut down. And it makes it really easy to get perfectly cut onion. Pieces. I'm not gonna bother measuring this to make sure I have a hundred grams of it. I'm just gonna use half an onion, which is about a hundred grams. I think that's. I think that's you. I can't remember. <laughs> but I think it should be fine. Hundred grams isn't much. Okay. So now that that's cut, just make sure all the pieces are even. I think some of it I need to cut a little bit more. Just some of the ends that I didn't quite get to. Cut, 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 cut. Okay. Looks even. Looks to be about 100 grams. I don't know. Sure roll with it. Chop, chop, Master Onion. I still haven't played Parappa de Rappa. I feel like I should play that at some time. I still haven't. I call myself a rhythm gamer, but I have never played Parappa. What the? I watch so many YouTube fancy chef videos, so I have every right to say, grr, Tenchi, grr, your technique, grr, grr, your knife work. Give me the knife. Let me do it. Why? Because I messed it up? Or was I being unsafe with my cutting? Was I making you nervous? Did it look like I was gonna cut my hand off? That would be scary. Fake rhythm tenshi. I know. A fraud. A fraud. Okay, let me get my butter. We will go ahead and preheat this. A frog. A fraud! Is my mic picking up okay? So we're gonna put like a tablespoon of butter in the pan. I'll put just a little bit more, just in case, just in case. It's like a whole other tablespoon. There we go. Okay, uh, let me move this out of the way. Put the butter back. Oh, just a cooking mama. So I'll go ahead and just put these in. Mmm, smells like onion. And we'll put these in too. Munions. Munchrooms and onions. Munchions. Uh, okay, let me grab something to stir these with. Uh, I think I need to turn my heat down just a little bit. Anyway, so we're gonna sa saute these until they are cooked. Roughly about six to seven minutes, according to the recipe. Oh, these didn't really get broken apart. Well, that's okay. They'll come apart as we cook them, I bet. I bet. Uh, and then I am gonna salt these a little bit right now. Not only to help them sweat out a little bit, but also to add some flavors. Do you slice the mushroom? Yeah, I did. I did, yes. Can you hear the cooking? 
can you hear the noise? The shh. I wonder. Can you hear it? I hear it. And then once this is cooked, we will uh, put it back in the bowl for later. Okay, our onions are cooking at least. Mushrooms are getting a little bit more cooked. It smells yummy. I, th I just think mushrooms and onions are just yummy in general, especially when they're cooked together, right? Mmm. Mmm. Mike is working great. Okay, I'm happy. No one's ever complained about more butter. It's fine. <laughs> is that how you feel? I feel that way too, usually. Depending on what it is. I suppose there could be like very rare edge cases of times when there is too much butter, but it is very few and far between. Centuries of French cooking cannot be wrong. So true. You don't have to continuously cook it like I am. I just am entertained by cook by stirring it. I mean, you don't have to continuously stir it. You should continuously cook it. Oh my God, mushroom. Hi, Tenshi. Hi. Hello, Faust. Also, hello, Otter. And indecisive insomnia. Hello. Hello, hello. Kinoko. Kinoko, kinoko. There's also uh, onions in here. A little less easy to spot because they are now almost transparent. Which is what we're looking for anyways. I'm making a mess. What's new? <laughs> we're getting there. It's reduced somewhat. Secret onion. Secret onions. Can you spot it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you? I hope you guys like uh, this segment being on YouTube. I feel like it's kind of nice to just have like something that is exclusive to the YouTubes. Personally, I think like numbers wise or whatever, it would like do pretty well on Twitch, but it's nice to just do something like this on YouTube only, you know, secret YouTube content. Exactly. Twitchers be gone. I'll cook it just a little bit more. Mushrooms are almost halved already. Half size. Half off. Just kidding. Coffee! Yeah. Also, um, I realized I didn't say it at all at any point until now. But, uh, so memberships are supposed to be open today. Whoopsies. But I forgot that. I, I didn't realize that YouTube, when you like set up the memberships, they have to approve it. And it should be approved, no problem. But the issue is that I said it this morning. <laughs> I like click down to finalize it this morning and it says to give them 24 hours, so. Oopsie, sorry. Okay, I think these look pretty much good. They're starting to like scorch at the bottom. So I'm gonna call it good and turn this off. But it'll be open as soon as possible. As soon as possible, so don't worry. Push this back. What? Put this in our bowl.
For later. Not much later, but later. Nice. Yummy. Okay. Just eat that with a spoon. Dinner is served. Just kidding. YouTube doesn't let me keep playing the video on my phone. I have to check the recipe, but that's okay. I'm the strongest in the world, and I can simply in intuit the recipe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fast, you're describing the large reason I pay for YouTube premium. This guy pays for YouTube. It's okay, me too. Technically, I don't though. I leash off a family account. <laughs> it's not even my family, it's my old roommate. My old roommate was like, hey, I got a family plan. You want to join? And I was like, heck yeah, give me that. Hand it over. Give me the premium. Give me. Give me. And I've had it for so long that I forget that, like, what it's like to even have YouTube without premium. Anyways, so now that this is done, we are going to now um, make our bechamel sauce, which we do by first making a roux. 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 Um, we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter back to the pan with flour. So I already have our floured measure out. It's 25 grams of flour. So we gotta make sure that this stuff doesn't clump. Uh, cook the roux until there are no clumps of flour, but don't let it brown, okay? You can't let it brown. So we're gonna put it on like super low. Don't let it brown. Hello, Shimana! She's cooking. Yeah! We're making mushroom Doria. Have you ever had Doria before? It's not exactly on the diet menu, that's for sure. But everything in moderation, right? It's like mushroom casserole, basically. Or mushroom, I keep calling it mushroom, ca rice casserole. Put our butter. I'll do just a little bit more. Oh my god. Dude, no! No! Casualties, casualties. No! No! Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Never! Well, I'll make it for you sometime if you want. If you want, I guess. You don't have to. I just thought you'd like to eat more food, is all. I'm putting the butter back because we are now done with it. Okay, but I need to turn this down even more because it is too hot. Butter's cooking. And now we will add the flowers. I'm just trying to get the rest of the onions off of this so I can just use the same spatula. So we just stir to combine until there are no lumps, which was pretty fast. And then before this breaks, uh, I need to get milk out. So we need, what is it, a cup and a half, I think. Yeah, a cup and a half of milk. Uh, I am just using low-fat milk because that's what I got in the fridge. So. One and a half cups milk. YouTube Chef says you should get all of the crud of the bottom of the pan. Well, it will. It will. That's called. Do you know what that's called, Homo? Do you know what it's called when you get all the crud off the bottom of the pan? If you watch so many YouTube cooks, do you know what it's called? Do you? I do. It's called deglazing. Uh, turn down the heat, pour the milk in at once. Stir the mixture vigorously until there are no lumps left. Okay, the heat's already like super low. So we will just put the milk in. Mmm, soup. Here's your dinner, flour soup. 
heard there, there is a thing called flower soup, right? I hear it's like actually pretty good. I don't know. I got whole milk. You're allowed. I'd probably be creamier with whole milk, but I uh, my whole milk went bad and I bought low fat milk last time. It wasn't much left of the whole milk, but... So we will stir vigorously. Cleaning, that's you. No, it's deglazing. Spring cleaning. Oh, I see. So we will stir it vigorously. I could probably be a little bit more vigorous, but I'm just trying to not make a mess. Can I use chalky milk? I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Not for this one. Anyways, uh, so we stir until there are no lit lumps. I almost said lips. No lips of roux. Lumps. And then we will turn it up, turn up the heat to medium, and bring it to a boil to thicken. Okay, it looks like we are lumpless. Lumpless. Chalky milk is probably fine. Can I have a plate of wet food a la tarte? <laughs> now, if I get the wet food out, we're gonna be under attack. We're gonna be under attack. Taro and Moker are sleeping in the tree. I don't, I saw Finn. Finn is just standing. He's just stanced. Oh, it turned off. I see, I see this too. Anyways, we turn the heat on and we bring this to a boils. A boils. But the pan has already been deglazed. You can't see, but just trust me. Just trust me. It's been deglazed. The milk has freed all the gunk off of the bottom of the pan. It has been freed. Anyways, while we're waiting for this, uh, we can try to do the next step. Sorry, I said because this part was a little hot. I didn't actually hurt myself, but I moved my hand fast enough. Crud removal, technical term. It's called deglazing. Back on. Anyway, so now we can squinch. Uh, while we're waiting for this to come to a boil, we can put our rice down. Because we're gonna have rice as our bottom layer, and then we're gonna add this to the sauce once the sauce is ready, and then add that on top. So I have my rice over here, so I'm just gonna uh, get it out of the rice cooker, which is over here, and put it down and then I will spread it and squinch it around over with you guys, but let me dish it up first. This is just one cup of cooked rice, which I had already cooked today. One cup cooked rice, gammy. You just squinch it. It's really hot, so I'm not gonna use my hand quite yet, but you can use your cans. I'm just using the rice paddle because I don't want to hurt. I don't want pain. I'm scared. Cup, a la cooked. Yeah, we're gonna squinch it down. It'll probably melt the butter, but that's okay. That's good. Oh fuck! God damn it! I should have been stirring this constantly. Don't do what I did. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I can save her, I can save her. I can save her, I can save her. She's safe, she's safe. She's a little clumpy, she's a little lumpy, but she's, she can be saved. She can be saved. This is how Tenchi can still win, yeah. We just have to keep mixing, vigorously. I might, I could break out a whisk. A whisk would help too. Don't worry, she's safe, she's safe. She's not, she's not totally screwed. Don't break the root, Tenchi, you're gonna have to start over. I know, I know, I did that once when I made gravy. She's not gonna have any crud in her. <laughs> Don't say it like that, that's gross. Ew, yucky. Yuck. 
see, she's fine. She's fine. She's a good sauce. She's a good saucer. Uh, anyways. Boil to thicken. I would say it's pretty thick. I don't think we need to go that much thicker. Let me hit it with a whisk real quick, just to break up any sort of oopsies that Tenchi's made. You just whisk it back. Saucer, saucer. See, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. She just had that thing on her, she didn't even need to dig it out. It's in, it's in a drawer that's below me, that's <laughs> the The kitchen island that I'm using right now is, uh, has, has drawers and shelves and I keep my whisk in it. See, it's fine, it's like basically cohesive again. No big lumps. It's fine. That's the tenchi. That's the tenchi way. Is that when you you recover, when you realize that things are going badly, you just recover. So now, put this in, and I'm gonna turn off the heat. Put our mushrooms back in. And then stir to evenly coat. Saucy. Saucy. Oh wait, we also put the green beans in. Sorry, but that's okay. And then stir again. <laughs> My sauce streamer. No lumpies, no clumpies. We're so back. See, I told you I could save her. It was just a matter of once I saw it happening, I was like, I got it. I gotta calm down. I gotta react fast. <sighs> I can save her. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. So, look at that. Slop. Yummy. You love a good slop, don't you? I'm gonna put some pepper. Pepper in here. Some pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Creme de la slot. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy. Getting good at the cedar trough tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and because I'm feeling fancy, you know what I'm also gonna add? Because this is a Japanese recipe. Wait, do I have? I thought I had chichi or ichimi. Do I only have this one? I guess so. That's fine. I'm gonna add some togarashi. Cause we feeling fancy. This is like a, uh, it's like Japanese spice. Japanese spicy pepper. She's free in it. She's free balling. Woo, she's winging it. That wasn't in the recipe. Recipe didn't call for that one. But I just wanted to add a little something. Right. Give it a little pizzazz. You can usually just add it on top too, I suppose. Or not at all. The recipe doesn't call for it. Uh, I have a uh, gochugaru. If you want, you don't have to. I wouldn't really recommend gochugaru personally, but uh, I mean, it, it's like similar in a way. You can also just use cayenne. You can also just, I would say if you're gonna, if you have cayenne to just use cayenne pepper, personally. Um, if you want, but you don't have to. Just a suggestion. Just add a little bit of depth. So anyways, our rice is now squinched. She's been squinched. Look at her, she's so squinched. She's so squinched. So. Now that the rice is squinched, we will now put this in here. Okay. Make sure you get all that creamy sauce. Bechamel sauce, which is just flour, milk, and butter, in case you didn't realize that. 
That's what bechamel sauce is. Bechamel? Bechamel. Be bechamel. I don't know. There's probably a proper way to say it. So I'm just going to evenly distribute this to all of the corners. Like so. I have to pass the best. <laughs> I don't even know what that test is. What the? I don't take tests. I'm a terrible test taker. I get a crippling test anxiety anytime I had to take a test. I'm just trying to like kind of spread it a little bit more evenly because it seems like there's a lot of greens, beans over in this corner, in this pocket. It's okay, it's fine. All right, evenly spread. Green bean casserole. Have you ever had that before too? Green bean casserole is like this, but without the rice. And whenever I make green bean casserole, I always make my own mushroom soup. Shroomed up on a Saturday night. Would you rather have it any other way? Anyways, so we're not done yet. Not, not yet. Because now, now it's time for cheese. So let me get in the fridge. Uh, so, if you couldn't find Gruyere cheese, uh, you can use any kind of melting cheese, if you didn't know. But I got Gruyere. You can also, it's like really good for melting. It becomes very gooey, this specific cheese. This specific cheese. It's a very soft cheese. A very soft cheese. A goo cheese. It's good cheese, sir. So there is a rind. I'm gonna cut the rind off. And then we will just grate it. Okay? We're just gonna grate a bunch of it on top. the rind off. I don't have any green beans. I thought there were frozen green beans in my freezer, but they were peas. You can always add peas. I don't think peas would be uh, the worst thing to add or substitute, personally. I don't think peas would work. Anyways, I have this micro plane here. So I'm just gonna start grating for the next however long until I feel like there's enough cheese. But you know, I, I really like cheese. So we're just gonna put a bunch of cheese we're gonna add so much cheese. She's so professional. I mean, what does it say? How much? They said to use how many grams? Hold on. A hundred grams of cheese. This whole block is 170. So we're gonna be grating for a while. The cheese tech. What kind of cheese is that? Gruyere. This one. It's from Switzerland. Switzerland. Perfect for grating pasta cheese boards. Gruyere. Does she have a cheese grater? I do, but the microplane I like a little bit better for cheese like this. I use it for Parmesan too because it becomes really small. It's really small and melts really nicely this way. You don't have to measure out 100. You can just eyeball it, but I like cheese. So we're adding cheese. Ah! She's a big cheese head, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna add a total of 100 grams though. That'd be a lot of cheese. 
We could say fuck it, we borrow and just go in. Go ham on the cheese. The ham and the cheese. There's no ham in this though. This is a vegetarian meal. Not vegan, but vegetarian. When's the bechamel done? Once it's thick. The bechamel was done once it was thick. Once it has thickened. To your ideal consistency. For me, once it was thick enough and I hit it with the whisk and it was like, uh, you know, not clumpy anymore because I wasn't watching it. <laughs> Once I did that, it was, uh, you know, it was, I figured it was done. Use your best judgment. But as long as it's like thick. You can tell, I can't really show you, but if you, in your pan, if you do this and it like makes a little like way, like a little, you know the story about Moses? And how he parts the Red Sea or whatever. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like that, but it's sauce and it like stays that way. Then you know that your sauce is ready. That's the tet. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, she's thick. Yeah, then it should be good, should be good. I don't like the microplane. It makes the cheese so fluffy, it's hard to judge how much you really use. But I guess it depends. Oh, yeah, I like that it's fluffy. I like that the cheese is fluffy. I'm just trying to evenly distribute it. I'll just do a little bit, one little final coat. All over. I don't know Moses. You don't. Oh, it's okay. He's a Bible guy. I just grew up that way. When you're a Tenchi, you just kind of grow up. You have to grow up knowing this stuff. They make you study the Bible in Tenchi school. You see, you understand. You get it? It's from that one movie. I guess he is in a movie too, huh? Anyways, I'm gonna put this back. I will put it in a bag too, actually, real quick before I forego. I gotta figure out <clears throat> what to use it for. Whether I use it for macing cheese, maybe. What to use the leftovers for? Because Gruyere, uh, it's like not the cheapest cheese, that's for sure. So I would prefer to use it before it goes bad. You know. Girls don't like to waste food. They don't like to waste food. Anyways, so <laughs> now that uh, this is done, wait, what the heck happened? My recipe disappeared. Gah, hold on. Okay. Now that this is done, we're gonna put it in the oven and bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Looks yummy already, right? So imagine how yummy it'll look once it's out and it's all brown and crispy. So, let me open the oven. Whoa, that is a hot oven. Put it on the middle rack and slide it in. Anyways, now let's clean up just a little bit. Should we make mochi? What do you think? We could just chill here and chat. I mean, I can do both. Such a good AFK face. <laughs> Shut up, I'm embarrassed. What about the French onions? You put that on at the end. I think. They didn't even say it in the recipe. Oh yeah, it's for garnish. Yeah, so you put it on at the end. Cause I think if you put them on uh, now, they might, they might end up burning a little bit. AFK face is a good face, man. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let me clean up just a little bit. Uh, and then we will... No, my mushrooms. 
I'm in the fridge. You want anything? You want anything? I got a Coca-Cola. I got a strawberry sparkling water. I got a tea. I got a, a like a Powerade looking thing. What you want? Yeah, can I get a handful of sandwich meat? Sorry, sandwich meat's out of stock. Sandwich meats. <laughs> a big beer? Sorry, no beer. I drank the last one. <laughs> Sody pop. Wow, you get the last Coca Cola. The last one. Wait, I didn't set a timer yet, right? It's been what? Maybe like two minutes? Let me see. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay. Easy. A bottle of KK Sweat? Yeah, sure. Here you go. I got some. I put this fancy cap on it. <laughs> I replaced the cap. Penchy, it's been an hour. No, it hasn't! Because I pour out of it. Cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got upsold on it at, at Daiso. I don't usually buy gimmicky things, but I was like, but it looks so cute on the Fukari sweat. <laughs> Indirect punchy kiss, I, will, I don't drink off of that. Baka, I pour out of it. What temperature was the oven for? It was 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is for not Americans, 260 C. 260, okay? 260, very hot, pretty hot, pretty hot. Pretty hot, if I may say so. Pretty hot to trot. Uh, I'm just gonna keep moving some dishes over. Do you guys wanna make mochi? Let's make mochi. We got time to kill anyways. So I'll put this here right now for the casserole for later. Um, and we can make very easy microwave mochi. It's a very simple recipe. You just have to use a good bit of arm strength. A good bit. Let me get a bowl, a specific bowl that I need. This one. This one. This one. Okay. And then we're gonna get Rice flour, which I already had out. And we're gonna need more milk, which is in the fridge, and we're gonna need sugar. So let me get the sugar. Let me grab the sugar. The sugars. Oh wait, it's right here. going to get the scale again. Only it goes to 250. I'm inadequate for this tenchi. I'm so sorry. I think 250 should be fine. You just might have to cook it a little bit longer if I had to guess. Anyways, let me pull up the uh, recipe. Here, I'll post it in the chat as well because it's the same guy. It's the same website. Did you know? Did you know? It's the same website, the same one. Sorry, I keep leaning over. I hope I haven't been blocking the whole time. Have I been? Maybe, Taboon? Here you go. Here is the recipes. Butter mochi, right there. Right there, Desu. Um, anyways, so, Let's do it. Let me pull it up. You gotta scroll through the blog post about it. It's just like online cooking recipes. So we need uh, rice flour, which we have. What the, wait, this is the wrong recipe. I think I sent you the wrong recipe. Unless he changed it. I don't know why he's, wait, no, never mind. It is the right recipe. What is evaporated cane sugar? I don't know, just use normal sugar. I only use normal sugar. 
I almost always ever use normal sugar for this. Okay, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay, okay. So we need 100 grams of mochikal and we need 90 grams of sugar. Okay, okay. Whoa. Making a mess already. So, 100. Every time I've made this, I just use normal sugar. So I vouch. I've made this before, for the record. It's girl's special treat. It's been a while since I've made it. I don't think I've made it since I moved, so I'm excited. Evaporated cane sugar is just the name used for regular sugar to make it sound more fancy, less unhealthy. Oh, is that true? I had no clue. Sugar is already made from evaporated juice of sugar cane. Oh, man, we really fancies. Uh, what was I getting? Oh, a spoon. She's getting a spoon. Hmm, let me think. So I'm gonna have to mix it very rigorously. So I'll use, I'll use this spatula right here. You had me at meow. You had me at meow. It's a certified Tenchi Mom, Tenchi Mom spatula that she got me. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm just gonna use this spoon because it's not reflective. So 90 grams of sugar. 90. Just a teeny bit more. Okay, just a teeny, teeny bit more. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that that's there, let me put the sugar away. And then, we'll get the milk out. measuring cup that I use for the milk. Back in the sink. Okay. So now we need one cup milk. One cup of milk. And we will also need 45 grams of butter, but we don't need it right now. So I won't add it yet. And then put it in the bowl. To make soup. Again, yummy. And then, sorry I'm so sniffly today. I've been sneezing a lot. I think it's just like fall allergies or something. I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna whisk this now. Whiskers. We'll use this once it gets stiffer, but we're gonna whisk first to evenly incorporate and combine. to make this very strange looking soup. Very strange looking soup. Right? Easy so far, super easy so far. Now that we have our, our weird looking soup, um, I'm also going to prepare a pan to put the mochi in. Mochi the rot. We're gonna get a pan out to put it in. I'm going to use this little Pyrex pan and some parchments paper. Eh. 
parchment paper. What was the build order of the Doria? You put the butter in the pan and then you put the rice. You spread the butter around the pan and off the sides. And then you put rice and then you put your vegetables after they've been stirred in the sauce. And then you put cheese on top. And then once it's baked, you put the munchrings on. Makes sense, makes sense. Almost 4 a.m. so I'm heading off. Have a good night, Peter! Thanks for slightly filling the hole in my heart tonight. No! My Oshi semi-graduated. No! Well, that's okay. I can be your Oshi now. Smile. I'm just kidding. Don't don't commit Oshi time that easy. But... <laughs> Whoa, there's the timer! Let's check on our Doria real quick. Okay, she's still going. I'm gonna let her cook for another, like, little bit because the, the cheese on top is not brown. Set timer three minutes. Once it's baked, you put the fried onion on not the mushroom, on the, on the top. On the top. On the top. She will be your Oshi. She will be your Oshi now. <laughs> okay, so now that our pan is mostly prepared, um, we are going to now, microwave. We're gonna use the microwave. So, uh, this can differ depending on your microwave or whatever you have available, depending on the wattage. But we're gonna put it in the microwave for, oh, I just realized I made a mistake. I was only supposed to add a small amount of the milk, but that's okay, we used all of it. It's fine, it'll still work together. It's fine. I've done it where I added all the milk before, I think. Whoops. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes, you know? <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna microwave it. We should... <laughs> we're gonna microwave it. Uh, for, let's do two, a minute 30 at first. Let's do a minute 30. She's a little, she's a little milky. It's fine, she'll be fine. She's good to go. Okay. KK Cyber Microwave email. Yeah. Do I have to use a microwave before I listen to Vaporwave? Uh, yeah. You have to also be sure that you have the right radio wave before you use your microwave. Got it. So I got the grippers now. This bowl's gonna be hot once it comes out of microwave, so I am prepared. I'm ready. Grippers. Grippers. Yeah. Uh, look at all those crusties on there. Gross. <laughs> They're well loved. They're well loved. <laughs> yeah, uh, I set my timer. We got 30 seconds left to check on the Doria again. But we're gonna let we're gonna want that to cool a little bit before we eat it anyway, so it's fine. We can finish the mochi. The mochi won't take more than like five minutes, I bet. I bet. Because you have to let the mochi cool anyways before you can eat it. So that's why I thought it'd be nice to do in between. Especially because last time we made a dessert and the dessert didn't turn out at all. <laughs> it didn't turn out even a little bit. Okay. So this is now out. So, and my timer just stopped too, so let me check on the Doria. Um, I'm gonna give it, it's starting to get brown. I'm gonna give it two more minutes. Two more. Set timer, two minutes. Okay. Rip pudding. <gasps> Oh, I'm still, I'm still re reeling from it. So anyways, you'll see that some of it is like stuck together. That's what you want, but not yet. So you just gotta break it off. You gotta break it up. You can cover it. I don't think it does anything. You just gotta break it up. Just mix it up. Give her a good stir. 
Get a little stir. And break up any of the big chunks. And try to re-encompass all of the ingredients to be homogenous. You know? God, both of these meals are so high in butter, but it's okay. I mean, the, the Doria, well, I guess the Doria doesn't have that much butter. It's like, what, three tablespoons, if that, not even. Just a lot of starch. But I thought something really comforting food for dessert would be nice. I just didn't plan ahead. <laughs> To, to add it, but I thought about it today. I was like, hmm. When I got the all-purpose flour out for the bechamel sauce, I was like, I had to move the mochiko, and I was like, hmm. What if, what if we do that? That would be nice. Anyways, so. This is reincorporated now. My timer for the Doria is about to go off. But I'm gonna put this back in the microwave for another Let's do two minutes now. Two minutes. And my timer is done. So let's check on the Doria. Wow, it's getting there. Whoa. Okay, maybe just a little bit more brown. We'll just wait for it to finish once the microwave is done. I just think just getting a little bit more browning on the cheese is ideal. Ideal. <laughs> You, you'll see, you'll have to just trust me. Trust the process, trust the process. But anyways, you guys having a good day, a good weekend so far, I hope. If microwaves cook food, wouldn't microwaves, macrowaves do it? <laughs> How fast do you think Dumbo waves would cook food? Huh? What do you think? I feel like it would take a long time. I feel like it would take a really long time. Okay, we still got one minute on the Michael wave. I'm doing all right. Helped a friend put some gutters up on her house. Whoa. DIY, home improvement mode. Did you go, Ugh! Ugh! Did you have any Tim Allen home improvement moments? Hungry. Well, good thing we're making food. <laughs> that one didn't really hit. <laughs> Hi, Tarnal. Hi. Oh, he replied. I said hi to him and went Bang. That show had an SNES game. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> All right, Doria is almost there. We'll just let it finish a little bit more. No. <laughs> Unsurprising. What was the gameplay even? Was it just like a platformer? I saw Stop Making Sense on the big screen. What's it about? I've never even heard of that movie. I've never even heard of it. Okay. There's our soup, our goop. Our soup, our goop. The soup, the goop. Oh wait, okay, now let me grab the Doria. Wow! Move this over here. I'll put the Doria right here so you guys can see it. So you can see it. I keep calling it soup. It's not soup. I shouldn't call it soup. Woo, she's hot. Look at this. Gagang! Whoa! Blah, so hot. Okay, turn the oven off. Wow! Oh, a concert film. I like watching concert films. It's been a while. So then, you can wait once it's cool, but I'll just add some on top for now. You just sprinkle some crispy, crunchy onions on top. And that's Mushrooms Doria! That's Mushrooms Doria. That's it. Well, we're gonna finish our mochi still. 
So you see how it's getting a little bit more sticky. We're going to mix it more. Sizzly, right? Let me just keep this on for now because this bowl is hot. She ha Mashed potato. We're looking mashed potato. So I'm just trying to get rid of any clumps and re evenly distribute any remaining liquid. We're not quite done yet. Almost done now that it is like a goo, right? Now that it is a goo. It is no longer soup, it is a goo. We got the goo now, right? So now we're going to add butter. Woo! As if we haven't used enough butter today. Let's use more. Whippee! Yahoo! I'm just gonna use this bowl that I used for the green beans to measure the butter. I'll just wipe it out in case there's any bean water. Big part of the stream has been lump removal, I have noticed. That's what happens when you use flour. That's what happens when you use flour. You know? Can't help it. Can't help it. All right, so we need 45 grams of butter. 45. 45 of them. Let's see. All right, that's 26. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. All right. So now we're going to add the butter to our goo. And then we're going to microwave it again. Add the butter to the goo. This is what makes it butter mochi, is it's mochi with butter in it. Wow. And we gotta stir to evenly combine again. This is why you don't add the milk all at once. Cause this part's gonna be a pain without extra milk, by the way. I could add a little bit of extra milk, I suppose to try to thin it out. Mmm, saucy. I think if we microwave it, it'll also combine a little bit better. Let me see. Let me add just a tiny bit of milk to try to incorporate it a bit better. Yeah, I have to listen to lump before I remove lumps. Who's lump? Who's Lump? Dr. Slump? It's helping somewhat. It's helping somewhat. I think <clears throat> as I microwave it, it should also help. Yeah, I think adding that little bit of extra milk, <clears throat> excuse me, helped, helped a lot. Uh, I love mochi. I love it so much. Have you ever had it before? I wonder. It's super yummy. There's like warnings about mochi though that you have to make sure you chew it very well or else you could suffocate on it. Because <laughs> it's so chewy. You have to thoroughly chew your mochi or suffocate or die trying, I suppose. Lump removal stream. Yeah. All right. Seems mostly somewhat evenly distributed. So now we microwave it again. Whoopee. Yeah. 
Okay, Doria in the oven. Nice! I think mine took a total of like 15, 17 ish minutes to cook. If it helps, but I mean, my oven might be different. You may have different results depending on your elevation or something. I guess it only really happens with cakes though. Cakes and like breads. Anyways, I'm gonna do another one minute on the microwave. And then we'll finish the mochi. I heard joking death, choking death spike in Japan every New Year's because they eat mochi around then. Yeah! Yeah, I feel like in winter. You know what I wanna try making is the red bean soup that you have with the mochi in it. I've never had, uh, never had that, but it sounds so good. I think I remember seeing them eat it on like, in some anime, maybe it was Yuru Camp. I can't remember. I can't remember, but it's good. It looks good. Mochi donuts for the first time not too long ago. Yummy! Mochi donuts hit different. They hit different than normal donuts, in my opinion. In my opinion. Ozoni, is that what it's called? The like azuki soup with the mochi, the big, the big mochi that you like stretch. You stretch it. I've never had it, but it looks, I always think it looks really good. I never used to like red bean, but I do now. As long as it's good red bean and not like the, the canned stuff. As long as it's not the canned stuffs. All right, so we stir again. Lots of stirring when it comes to making mochi. And we're just gonna keep doing this multiple times until it is to a consistency that we like or that I like. Because if you like it a different consistency than me, then stay on, you're not the one making it. Bang it, bang it. Alzoni is more of a savory mochi soup. Oh. Yeah, it seems like a sweet soup. I mean, cause it's red bean, but maybe it is savory. I don't know. I've never had it. So I just, I've just seen it in anime and like media and stuff, right? But it just seems like a really nice thing to eat for winter. Then again, winter doesn't really hit here. <laughs> it gets cold at night, but not really during the day. So, hmm. I can still eat um, like wintry foods for dinner and stuff, but usually for lunch, I don't feel like eating wintry stuff. Okay, we're gonna microwave it just a little bit more because it still feels a little runny. This time I'm gonna do two minutes. Two minutes. Hey yo, hello, welcome. Hey Okay. And in the meantime, while we're waiting on that, I will now get the final thing we need for this mochi, which is potato starch. You can use like a cornstarch or something instead, I suppose. But I recommend using potato starch. Potato starch. Yep, yep, yep. Mm hmm. Bah. Anyways, we'll be wrapping here pretty soon. Pretty soon. I mean, the Doria is done. You don't have to stick around, but I am gonna finish this mochi. At least, at least finish it. So, if you wanna stick around while I finish it, you can. I won't stop you. I surely won't stop you. Anyways. Yeah, that's also why I like this recipe. It's like really easy. It's like good for a weeknight meal. It's a crowd pleaser. I'm just gonna put some potato starch on this pan for when we slap out the, uh, the mochi. Hi! Nummies, yeah, right here. So now that it's settled a little bit, it looks really good. It looks really good, she's a quick cook. She's so fast. She's so fast. Weeknight munch rooms, yeah. But anyways, I'll dish some up. We'll give it a little bite. And then I will probably go AFK to eat the rest of my food. And we'll call it a day. We're just about two hours. It's been a good stream, a good stream length. But I want to watch, I want to eat it while I watch anime. <laughs> I also want to sit down. I've been standing the whole time, right? 
yeah. Plating master. I don't think you could plate this very well. It's a casserole. I don't think you can make it look that appealing. Like fancy or anything, you know. Anyways, here's our mochi so far. I'm gonna stir it one last time. And then we'll slap it into the potato starch and then slap it in a pan and put it in the fridge. Don't eat the food. Why not? I just made it. Why not? Feed it to the kitties. No! There's onions. Onions are bad for cats. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to heat it more. God, this is like the one bad thing about making mochi sometimes in the microwave. Maybe it's because I added the extra milk. Is uh, you have to, you, you really have to keep heating it. I just want to eat the dory. I mean, it'll also like solidify more after cooling somewhat, but I want it just a little bit more thick, I think. Do you, do you, I think, just a little, that's what I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, we try just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It looks so soft, right? I love mochi. Every time I eat it, it's like I'm eating anime thighs. It's like I'm eating anime thighs. They're soft, they're gooey, they're sweet, chewy, bouncy. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. You heard me. Anyways, I get a plate. And then I'll get, um, I have like this thing. This thing, it's for like brownies or casseroles. I'm gonna stab it. Gah, 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 gah. And then I will cut right here. Let me make sure my mochi isn't exploding. Okay, we're good. I think it's just letting off some of the moisture bubbles. Extreme violence. She's allowed. She's allowed to be extremely violent. Okay, let her live. There it is! Wow, it really is just slop once you put it on a plate, but that's okay. It's good slop. But this reheats well. If you have a dish like this, you can reheat it in the oven. Um, I do recommend reheating it in something so that you can like get the gooey cheese on top, but you can always microwave it again too if you want. If you want, if you want the crispy rice though, and the, uh, you know, the, the, the cheese to be gooey, then I recommend I highly recommend reheating it in your oven. Even Tenchi's are eating the slop. Bushido has fallen, air fryer. That's what I'm curious, I haven't tried. There's gotta be a way to do it in the air fryer though. Penny, itadakimashi. Let's try it. It's so hot still though. We'll get a little bite of the of the rice and the mushroom and the cheese. Right there, yummy, yummy. It's hot. It's so hot. Mmm. 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 
The rice has like a little bit of crispy texture on the bottom. But the vegetables are like just cooked enough that they still feel kind of fresh. They don't feel like gross and mushy. Mmm. Mmm. It's like really buttery. It's good. If anything, I probably could add more salt, but you can always add salt after, so. Yeah! <laughs> Yummy! Okay, let me finish the mochi now. Let me finish the mochers. The mochis! Mochi's the rock. Oh wait, I need my gloves. Before I burn my hands. Ah! All right. Okay, this looks a little bit better. Bah! I have to eat mochi before I buy a mochi dori. What is a mochi dori? What is that? Yeah, this is a little bit better. It's getting there. I'm just gonna call it good. Whatever. If it's squinchy, whatever. I'll just eat it. I'll still eat it if it's too squinchy. Gah! Ding. I think it's not gonna get much better than this. I think this is just how it's gonna be. It's one of those guys, right? What, what guys? Oh, the blank brand of plush toy that they sell at Don Quixote. They did Hollow Live Mochi Dorios recently. What? Oh yeah, I did want to bring up one thing. So I'm gonna go on an adventure tomorrow. And I was thinking I can't live stream because I don't want to live stream in public, and also I don't really have like the know-how of how to live stream in public. I'm gonna keep it real, but I'm gonna go to the animate shop tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, Animate, which is a very popular uh, store in Japan uh, for having anime and licensed goods, like official goods, uh, just opened their first non-Japanese location that I know of. I mean, at least the first in North America uh, in LA. So I'm gonna go check it out. But I thought I would take some videos and take some pictures to share with you guys. I thought it'd be interesting to go along together and show you stuff that I find. Make a little vlog of it in a way. Right? Oh! Get you a pomo. Do you really want me to? I already packed your, your, your merch, but I could. I could try. try can you give me the expensive merchandise uh i don't know about that one i do know that apparently already they sold out of the uh they sold out of suisei nendos because my friend went today i had a friend who went today but it sounds like some of the stuff that i was interested in w was still like pretty well stocked because they did like limits per person there's a silly really cute pomo acrylic stand with a spoon but i have too many well you got you got at least one more on the way this is really hot, so I don't recommend doing this, by the way, but I'm just dusting it with my hand. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the Animate store opened. They have a lot of, uh, some exclusive Hololive merch. They have some for EN, uh, specifically Myth. I think they have some JP stuff too, though, like JP Hololive. They apparently have Niji Sanji stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. She's got chef's hands. Not quite chef's hands, but Someone. Anyways, so now I'm just gonna put this, put this right here. Put the leftover in the bottom. Okay. Oh, she's stuck. She's so stuck. She's so stuck. Bah. Oh, she's making a mess. She's making a mess. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine, don't worry. This is all under control. This is all according to Kekaku. Oh. <laughs> ah, eto, ano, shono. 
And then we just squinch it. And it's probably gonna be a little bit clump, like weirdly layered now because I put it on a pan first for some reason. But it's fine. It's okay. We cope. It's we we cope. We <laughs> And then we just try to squinch it so that it's as even as possible. We squinch it, squinch, 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 squinch. Lots of squinching today too. Lots of squinching today. Just even out the potato starch a little bit. And then we slap it in the fridge. And then you wait. Can't eat it yet, sorry. You have to wait. You gotta eat your dinner first. So let me put this in the fridge. In the fridge. God, my nose is so runny today. Ugh. I keep... You guys are making me cry. Anyways! That's the stream. Thank you guys so much for joining. I don't know anything about raiding on YouTube, nor do I know anyone who would even accept my raids. So, here, you wanna eat this? It's mochi. It looks like a booger, but it's mochi. You can eat it. Um, mm. Chewy. Chewy. Mmm, chewy. Anyways, oh, if you do make mochi, I just wanna say while I'm at the sink, uh, make sure that you uh, wash most of your dishes from it, or at least like get as much of the mochi off as possible because once it dries, oh, that's a pain. It's a pain to clean. So at least like soak, soak your dishes or whatever you end up using. If you make mochi, if you do it, love yourself. Don't just let it sit there getting all stuck because it'll be like blue, the mochi, the hot mochi. It'll become like blue, which is why I'm now rinsing instead of finishing my goodbyes. But I'll give you a proper sign off instead of one at the sink. Port eels in just a moment. I promise. I promise. Okay, anyways. Thank you guys so much for joining. Did you have a nice time? Thank you again for coming to the latest episode of Taste of Tenchi. Thank you for the cool, epic YouTube stream. I'll see you again. I love you so much. Uh, hopefully collab next week, by the way. Nothing off collab, nothing fancy, but probably Tabun maybe a collab next week. I'll make a schedule, post it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I don't know, I also have a new stream idea. I have a new stream segment that I'm gonna try to uh, put on the schedule next week. So, barring any sort of weird come upances or whatever, I don't know any 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 problems. But uh, I don't I don't I won't spoil it yet. I won't tell you. I won't tell you. But it'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a brand new thing that I've never even really talked about. Maybe I did actually once or twice. I think I did actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's, uh, it's something that I was working on is now ready. So uh, I hope that you look forward to it and I will see you again really soon. Let me turn my water off, whoops. Bye! <laughs> Bye, I love you so much. Oh, to KK. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being you. I love you. If you put, if you do end up making mushroom Doria, make sure. For the fun cooking stream. I think uh. my knife skills got better since uh. last time. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for the fun cooking stream. I think your knife skills got better since last time. What the? My knife skills are great. <laughs> thank you so much for hundred dollars. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the akasupa. It's not a true akasupa, but it counts. It counts. But thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tater Cut. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you guys end up making the food, 
uh, or ended up making it at all, you should share it in Discord or tweet it. And uh, you can use my hashtag KKPNG or maybe not that because that's like the fan art tag. I don't know. You can just use hashtag KKCyberboard, okay? Anyways. Oh, yeah. And uh, memberships will be open up soon, I promise. Ooh. I mean, I'm just waiting. I'm sorry. I'm only one guy. I do what I can, but I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being you. I will see you again later. Bye.